A few weeks ago, Apple removed the handy little estimated battery time remaining from macOS. Apple said that it just wasn't a very accurate indicator of time, but others, myself included, believe that maybe it's Apple's attempt to cover up the fact that the new MacBook Pro has dismal battery life, which I talk about here. Regardless of what the truth is, I liked that little indicator and I want it back. And I'm gonna show you how to get it. We first need to enter recovery mode. You can do that by shutting down your computer, and then once it's shut down, press the power button, and immediately thereafter, press Command and R on the keyboard. Hold those keys down until you hear the Apple startup chime. Now that we've entered recovery, you need to click the Utilities tab, and then click Terminal. It may take a couple seconds, but a window will open that will allow us to enter a command prompt. Now what we're going to do is disable what's called system integrity protection for a very short second. SIP uh, prevents us or anyone else, including malicious software, from modifying system files and accidentally, or in the case of bad software, intentionally corrupting our machine. Now we need to disable it because we need to move a couple of system files around and it's perfectly okay to do for a few minutes, but at the end of this tutorial, stick around because we would need to come back in here and turn it back on so that nothing else can be changed once we're done making our modifications. So to disable it, click CSR util disable, uh, disable. And then you can click a semicolon and then click reboot and your machine will disable SIP and then immediately reboot into macOS. Okay, so this is where the fun begins. First of all, you need to download this file, battery.menu. It's listed in the video description below. Now this file comes from a previous version of macOS where it used to display the time remaining and we're simply going to replace it with the current version that no longer displays that information. What you need to do, once you have the file downloaded and it's on your desktop, battery.menu, is in the Finder tab, click Go, and then click Go to Folder. You will then need to type out this file path. It's System, Library, Core Services, Menu Extras. It's also listed in the video description so you can copy and paste it as well. Then click Go. Now, once you've done that, you'll see that there's a list of files and one of them is, hey, look at that, battery.menu. So this is the version that we want to replace with the older version that used to tell us the time remaining. Now, rather than deleting this folder altogether or this file altogether, I would recommend renaming it in case you want to revert back to it at any time in the future. You can name it battery old, battery one, it doesn't matter. Anything uh, other than battery will be ignored by Mac OS. So go ahead and name it something else battery old, and when you press return, you'll need to enter your admin password because these are system files that we're playing with. Uh, generally not a good idea, but it's totally safe in this instance. <laughs> so once you've done that and you've renamed your old file, you need to take the new battery.menu and drag it into this folder. You'll need to enter your password again, and you'll notice that there it is. We have two batteries, the old battery menu, which is actually the new one, so maybe battery old's not the best name, but then battery is the version that we've just downloaded that's now in this folder, and this is the version that will tell us the time remaining. So you can go ahead and either reboot your machine, or a much faster way is by opening the terminal and typing out the following command, kill all system UI server. When you press enter, you'll see that your menu bar kind of refreshes, and if you click the battery icon, hey, look at that, four hours and seven minutes remaining. Our time remaining is back. It's as easy as that. Now we need to enter recovery mode again by pressing Command R, and then once we're here, we press Utilities and Terminal, like we did in the beginning of the tutorial. We need to relock our machine back up nice and tight so that nothing else can be modified. And we do that by typing CSR Util, just like the beginning, Enable. And then you can click semicolon, Reboot. And that will allow our machine to re-enable SIP and reboot. And that's it. If you enjoyed or found this video helpful, I would appreciate a like, they really do help a lot. If you didn't like it, that other button seems to work okay too. Get subscribed for more awesome tech videos and tricks like these, but most importantly, and as always, stay snazzy.